Okay. Okay. Hello. So uh, we are live and uh, we, we did it quickly and spontaneously because uh, we launched the, the, the class bundle that we were plotting for ages. <laughs> and there was a lot of questions. So it's just easier to chit chat about it. So uh, here we are. Um, and uh, we have comments, and we have uh, we have all the. <laughs> the we're all doing the same thing, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. So uh, we have uh, everything ready, and um, yeah, please us, and we have to share. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I will just talk a little bit to give you the chance and to join and yes yeah, sorry for the unexpected noise that was me you can tell by my face i clicked something and it just erupted it's and me too after <laughs> it's very unusual to be four of us at the same time and one place in public so if we talk over each other you have to just forgive us this is how it works sometimes but um we as uh, terry said we all look amazing. Yeah, we did our best, I'm sure. Oh, yes, yes. We, 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 we did the whole shebang. <laughs> just for you. <laughs> just for you. We just try to look like real humans. And this is the thing that we do. <laughs> just especially for you. So, uh, as Olga said, this is all about the new package of classes that we released together. And I have to tell you, this is, uh, in fact... Um, combination of two ideas. First of all, my idea uh, to create a website called Finavard Art Studio, which is in fact the website dedicated to online classes. And uh, we will talk a little bit later about the mechanics of that, of course. But this is just the website that is separate from any other place. So this is not the blog. This is not any social media. That is the website which was built from the scratch for making classes um, easy to access for everybody. Because uh, I heard comments that classes on Facebook are not okay for everybody because not everybody is on Facebook. YouTube is not always user-friendly. People don't always like it. It's hard to make classes private. So in the very end, we decided to make an online place. So Finover Art Studio that is going to be dedicated to the classes um, inspired by Finavar products. And of course, I was hoping on some point, um, yeah, Olga just posted the link. <laughs> Thank you. On some point, I was hoping this place is going to go live and it did in the end of the last year, we were testing and I put some of the smaller classes there. I put some live events in uh, like longer events. And finally, I was hoping I can invite people in uh, so my design team members, my brand ambassadors, people who are, um, well, just representation of the brand and people who are um, really super talented teachers and artists. And I gave this idea to my teams. And just almost right away, these three ladies started to collaborate and started to make a plan to create a collaborative class, something that is going to be like separate classes, mini classes, but uh, sold as a package. So I decided I have to jump in and join. And that's why, that's how we made this bundle of classes. So who's ready to talk about the idea of the classes now? <laughs> I talk a long, for a long time. Okay, so uh, probably it will be my idea. Because, uh, yeah, the, the whole collaborating uh, idea is because uh, I, I struggle with, uh, you know, pulling through my idea. I have the idea, I will start to work on it, and then life happens, and it will never get done. So I discovered that collaborating with other people will make me avoid that moment when something happens and I will give up because I can't give up because there is way too much you know uh, Nunu can be very harsh when she will notice that you are lazy she can be very harsh and it's very painful to hear like okay no that those are excuses and you are just lazy and you should go to your desk and finish that project because 
you have nothing better to do with yourself right now and I will not take no as the excuse. And that is pushing me through. And um, I have been uh, doing live streams, classes, etc., for some time. And sometimes it's quite lonely when you are alone. Uh, that's why we often do live streams together because it's so fun. It's almost like sitting with your bestie and just playing with stuff at your desk, almost like the real thing. It's the, the, the next thing. And that is a similar thing because uh, when I get stuck, I, I have already two, three people that I can talk to like, okay, I stuck. I want to, I want it to look like this, but I can't push it through. So collabing between each other always helps to 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 make stuff happen and it's fun. Yes, Nunek. I think also that um, the three of us we have collaborated before. Like uh, Olga and Iveta teach some classes together. Uh, I taught some classes also with Olga. We made some live streams together and in our group. And we realized like, we have so much fun when doing it together. So I think the four of us are equally crazy and vibing in the same vibe. <laughs> and here we are. Here we are. Yeah, so... Uh, mm you know, it actually came came out much better than I assume it will because each one of us tackled different techniques, different products, uh, though we still stayed in the line of focusing on the latest release and those exciting modes. Oh my God. Yeah. So we, we stayed in the similar theme, but every project is completely different and each one of them is perfect representation of our ultimate style you know like go to style uh, so so i think it came out really really cool and it's a perfect end of the summer project uh, to take for somebody because those are Free, not very easy, not super simple, but not overly complicated projects. And you can accomplish each one of them within one day, I would say. Mila is just saying that uh, better with different styles and teachers. And I was just going to say that, that we all have so different styles. Um, I have watched the four classes because I add the Spanish subtitles and I can tell you guys that each of them has something different to offer you. All of them have different techniques, different styles. And it's so amazing because we didn't talk about it. It just happened. And that is some kind of magic in my eyes. Which can I just say special thank you to Nuneka for translating mm -hmm. all of the classes and all of the descriptions and just everything and putting it all together for it to be able to uh, be in Spanish as well as English. I honestly just thank you so much. My it's pleasure. I'm going, to, I'm going to say that in Spanish. So for the people that is going to watch later. Yes. Todas las clases están en español con subtítulos, ¿vale? Las clases de ellas están en inglés, con subtítulos en español, y mi clase está en español, con subtítulos en español. Es la primera vez, yo creo, que vais a poder tener tantas clases en un solo pack que, que todos vais a poder ver y todos vais a poder entender. Así que, de verdad, espero que os animéis y, y os decidáis a cogerlas. I don't know what you said, but I'm just going to trust that. It, you, she said... <laughs> <laughs> a question, always, I think. It's a side note, but I'm always uh, when Nunu is translating for Spanish in such a speed, I'm always wondering if she's actually translating what I'm saying, or she's just like, okay, so that boring person here just said something. <laughs> she said blah 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 blah. <laughs> in Spanish, we talk that fast. It's not that you talk slowly in Polish, yeah. That is true, yes. Yeah, that yeah. Is 
a little bit guilty. <laughs> <laughs> Which, by the way, I think, um, sorry, I think like if this, if, if this is something that we're going to maybe repeat in the future, I think it would be great for um, you guys, the, the watchers, the viewers, people that take the classes, if you could let us know if there is more interest in getting those classes translated to other languages, because we also have Polish and Russian. So if there's any interest in Polish subtitles or Russian subtitles, then, you know, just let us know because it is a possibility for future. Yeah, because <laughs> actually Spanish market, Spanish crafty market is a huge part of our, uh, of our market. And a lot of people, it's not like they don't understand English, but uh, maybe they don't understand it completely. And uh, at least with my project, there are a couple things that you have to get just right. Otherwise, it might uh, flop a little bit. So uh, I'm super grateful for uh, no, not giving us the access to, to that audience. That no, we're not going to talk about that. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> now, my turn. Because we are talking about Spanish language, there's important thing. Uh, when it comes to the website, because there were questions how to buy the class in English or how to buy the class in Spanish and how the bundle works. In fact, it is much easier than you think and you just need to have a look at the website and there are single classes listed and we put them in the 9.99 price in euro plus tax, depending on, um, of course, the tax but I think it's 23% uh, now. Yes. And, um, there is also a separate product for a bundle, which means you've got single class you can put in your basket, but you can put a bundle of two, three, or four classes. Uh, we, I did it before with my own classes, of course, but this bundle is separate. So you can get class you prefer, just one, or you can bundle them to get better discount. So like the discount multiplies. So on some point, if you get four of the classes at the same time, there's 30% of discount. So that is really a lot. And um, the second thing is, once you get into this bundle, there are options for you to click. So you pick which classes you would like to get. And there is always, for example, my class is called Daydreaming, and there's Daydreaming English and Daydreaming Spanish. So you pick this version that applies to you. The same for Olga class, two versions, Nuneka class, two versions, and Iveta class, two versions. So you just pick the language and the class you like, and that automatically is going to turn into a bundle. And then once you get the access to the classes, you're going to get it in the right language descriptions and product list and subtitles for the video, all of them are going to be in your chosen language. So this way it is much easier and you don't have to switch between uh, translations. It is just done this way for your convenience and it's also easier to create separate products. So um, I hope that is kind of straightforward. So first you find the bundle you like. So how many classes? And then you pick the version of the class you like, and that is how you get English version or Spanish version. In the worst case, if something goes wrong and you make a mistake, you send email to support of the website and say, um, well, I need some help. I made a mistake. And then the support, uh, technical support of the website uh, is going to answer you with the information. There's one more person behind the scenes. Uh, Tusha is the person who knows everything about that, and she is great with responding, answering, and fixing stuff. So don't be afraid. You are not going to be left alone. But uh, the best way is to go to the email, which is directly on Finavar Art Studio website, because that goes to the right person. And that is the... the Tusha, is the who one. is just everything. Oh. Uh, yes. We need a quick graphic uh, so you can see how the bundles looks uh, like uh, on the website. You have 
bundles listed and there is a select option button just underneath and all your op options will be in there. I and didn't I like to about screen recording of, of clicking on it. <laughs> Please share that image again because I, I want people to notice that right now they are uh, with discount, but this is for a limited time. Yes. This is going to be for limited time. We decided to go with this offer for four weeks and then the bundle is going to be broken into separate products and maybe they're going to be able to be bundled with other products on the website. But for now, this is like a special product. Special, which is only for us and we are going to keep it open until middle of September. And unless something will change and there will be a lot of emails saying, please extend. But um, this is like limited time offer. So you get two classes minus 15%, three classes minus 23%, or four classes minus 30%, which is great price, 2770 plus tax. So that is like a class have, for free. Yeah, it's free. like, yeah, exactly. This is like, if you compare to the usual price of my online class, the Forest Witch, that is four classes in the price of one in fact so i would say this is a great deal and the fact that we have translation into spanish is just making that easier for a lot of projects uh, for, for a lot of people and i'm absolutely grateful to Lumeka for her hard work and uh, also important on that website you have access to your classes forever which means once you buy them you have the access every time you log into the website. So please remember the email you used for um, logging and remember the password because now every time when you come back, you just put it in and then you have the access to all the classes you purchased before and you can watch them over and over again. I often use that option because uh, I took creative whispering. So when I go back to it, I uh, I go through the website because I I don't save all the all, all the links and it's really nicely listed. Once you made a purchase, you you have your own little corner on the website that you can uh, uh, always uh, go back to and uh, reach for uh, whatever you need. And um, I also forgot pa password a couple times and the password recovery works beautifully. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is what we do quite often. Unfortunately, we forget the passwords. So don't worry, it works like any other online shop. If you forget, we can help and uh this is uh there's a question from jean this is it the same thing as patreon classes we do no no uh, this is a separate website uh, i just post the link uh again that is here in our art studio oh i did it two times somehow Ugh, sorry. Uh, don't worry, it's a Facebook thing because I can't access the comments. That's why I keep looking on the side because we have a lot of people joining and saying hello. And in studio, unfortunately, we see your name as the Facebook user. So the last one uh, that was saying hello, hello, uh, we were joined, uh, Eileen is with us and Jessica and Sabine came and we have Ian. hello, uh, Louise. Oh my God, people are rolling, rolling, rolling. I put the, uh, as you asked, yes, I put the link directly to the shop on the website. So if you click the link that I just posted, that is the place where you can see the older classes closer to the bottom and the bundles and our single classes that are on the top. So you will see this image that Olga was showing to you on the very top of the uh, shop. And you will see the classes description. Once you click on the single classes, you will see the images. You're going to see how they look like. So, sorry, you can make your choices knowing what is really inside please forgive my dogs <laughs> this is just what happens sometimes i'm really, really being live you know 
Yeah, this is reality. I'm really, really excited. The girls uh, came with this concept to make it together because together is better. As Nuneka said, in each class, you've got different set of techniques and you've got different color options. But at the same time, you've got uh, child really choices. You don't have to use exactly the same products. You don't have to use exactly the same colors because these are things that you can change for the things you have at home. Each class in mixed media is based on creativity and learning techniques, which means when I show you the sample that looks like that, and oh, this, okay. And it goes step by step. You can pick different color palette. You can pick the different paste you have. You can pick different fabric for Olga, for example. You can pick different element, but the techniques are still going to make it look amazing. So this is how they look in real life, but your version of it may be just a little bit different or completely different. And you can take this class many times and every time you're going to take it, you're going to have different results because you're going to experiment with new concept, new color, new product. And I'm sure you have some of the products at home and this is a great opportunity to put them into use and to try the things that you were maybe afraid of using before. And um, also, uh, this is all about the new mold release, but it's going to work with any elements that you may already have. We wanted to go with the flow of the new release because that is exciting and it's nice to see the new products, but it's not limiting. You can use anything because this is the beauty of this kind of mixed media project. Uh, so maybe you are going to talk a little bit about your projects, girls. So oh, well. Uh, we will uh, jump to that because uh, uh, it's not only classes. We have also planned to, to play with the new products uh, in probably teams of two because four people on the screen working at the same time will, would be very, very hard to, to follow. So really? in, uh, in the group, in Finaba in and Friends Open Studio, and uh, I forgot to turn on the, the, the nice flashy banner that I made in black, so it's not visible because we had, you know, we have the dark background. <laughs> uh, but we will, we will make live streams open in the group, open for everyone to join, to, to hang out uh, with the idea that you can join with your own projects or just to chit chat and, and, and talk paper with someone. Exactly. So you are going to have a lot of entertainment going around that, hoping you will feel encouraged to join and also uh, to just maybe learn a little bit more about our teaching style because we are uh, a bit different from each other. And of course, we all have our own way of explaining things. Some of us are more messy. Some of us are very organized. <laughs> and, um, it may be also interesting to see. <laughs> Yeah, very organized. <laughs> and it is always nice to see that um, there are multiple ways of getting to the great results. So uh, when you're having any you know, feelings that maybe you are not advanced enough, if you feel that this is not for you because you never did it, uh, each of these projects is doable for a beginner because it's explained step by step. Uh, once you have a basic set, um, once you get a basic set of mixed media products such as gel, paints, uh, some kind of spray, some kind of gesso, and of course, uh, maybe for um, the sculpture project, a little bit of sculpting medium or power tech, something that is going to make the product harder, then you are basically covered. You can change, you can pick your favorites, you can... Uh, work with a lot of elements here and the results are going to be very nice and as Terry said when you sign up for the class you get the product list and this product list is detailed so you can get exactly what we used but you can replace with your own things as well 
And you can always ask questions. Uh, you know, like if you have the question general about the class, you can contact the, the, the support or you can message us directly because all the links are uh, available. I a little bit suck with social media, but not to the extent that I would not reply for message uh, for ages. It might take me just like entire day to to notice that uh, that I got the message. But any questions, anything we forgot to mention, just just ask because it might be that some things are obvious and I forgot to mention it. And once somebody will ask, I would be like, ooh, that that is a good question. I have to add it to to the info because actually that's that's a really, really good question. Okay. Okay. So just to let you know, uh, we also have the, the, because there was a question, I just re uh, realized there was a question from somebody. There are several options uh, on the website. So for people who prefer to pay in United States dollars, uh, you can change the currency to United States dollars on the website. And that is just like one click. And then the, the price is going to convert. So that is going to be easy for those of you who prefer this way, this currency. How long is each class? If you click on each class, there is, should be information in the description how long the class is. But I can tell my class is about 45 minutes of active, really nice space going video. Nuneka, how long is yours? I think 38 minutes. 38 minutes, Olga? Mine uh, was around 30 because I, I try to, to, to cut it short because it's supposed to be short class and I can talk for England and entire words. So I was trying to, to, to uh, cut it uh, short. The class is 30 minutes, but if you want to um, have exactly the same result without using a heat gun, I would, I would book entire day or evening of the one day and the uh, morning of uh, the day uh, after to actually go th through the project because it have to dry. Yeah, the drying time is a separate thing. You don't watch the drying time on the video. Yeah. That's for sure. And Iveta, how long is yours? I uh, Mine is about th somewhere between 34 and 38 minutes, something like that. Yeah, so under 40 minutes. Yes, um, you should expect the class is going to be between 30 and 50 minutes. And it is really edited video. That means you get everything explained step by step, but you only watch the important details. If you need to have a closer look, for example, on making some detail, like painting in detail, it's shown, but nobody is going to make you look at the crackle and wait for this to crackle because that is wasting of your time and energy. So oh, wait, 24 hours for Jesso to set. Yeah. <laughs> so, no, no, the important steps are shown. The obvious steps such as waiting for drying, they're cut out and everything is edited this way that it is like golden star standard for any good quality online class with nice light, beautiful close-up photos, uh, with um, very nice uh, subtitles made by Nuneka. Uh, and not only, but, uh, but by us and Nuneka. Mm. And of course, spoken English as well. And uh, I think, Nunu, you made spoken Spanish for your class yes. as well. My class is both in English and Spanish. So um, I don't know if any of girls except me uh, is taking classes because I am taking classes online and how I take class, usually I will play it one time while I'm doing something completely else just to, to have the idea about the project. And then when I'm sitting and actually doing the class, I would hit the pause every time when I need the time to, to follow the step. So, um, and you can speed up through the parts that you already know, because uh, um, the beauty of the class is that it's suitable for anyone. It doesn't matter have you ever hold the brush in your life or not, you will be able to, to go through the project. 
So if you already have your favorite way of adding color, then you can just skip through the adding color and get to the part that is interesting uh, for you. Okay. So uh, that's what I would personally also suggest. Like if you are somebody who maybe doesn't have a lot of mixed media products per se, or maybe you're not very experienced, um, like don't be scared of taking these classes if you don't have everything that you need. Like you can always, what I would recommend would be to get the classes, watch through them, because again, like through, throughout the classes, at least I know in my class, I definitely talk through kind of some of the alternatives or what you could do instead if you don't have this particular product. Um, and then afterwards, you can then decide whether you need to actually go out and buy all of those things that are on the list because, you know, it might Most not necessarily be... Watching needed. the class first will activate something in your brain and you will have your own ideas that you would like to add to your project. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's that's a downside of streaming with someone even if you have the idea when we do live streams i usually have the idea what i would like to do and then i look on the second part of the screen and i see something that looks super cool uh, <laughs> then i'm tempted to to go this way last time when we were live in group with nunu i had completely different idea and and she made me use a lot of sparkle uh, I'm not complaining. I'm a sparkle person, but it wasn't planned. <laughs> yeah, and this is what also uh, is important. You've got the access to this uh, class permanently. So it's not like you have limited time and you only can watch it once and it is never, ever going to show up again. No, you once you buy the class, you go back to the account, you watch it as many times as you wish, and you have the lifetime access. That means as long as the website is alive, you have access to it. So uh, that is, I'm sure, enough time for everybody to catch up and to make the project that you would like to uh, try. And um, this is all built uh, outside of social media for a reason, because we know there are people who don't really like going on Facebook or YouTube or this, uh what is it? Zoom? <laughs> because for some for some of you that is not comfortable. This is not easy. Here you open the website and you watch a video because it's built in, and you can just see everything on the screen. You can make it larger, and that is also easy for you. You can watch on big screen, smaller screen, on your phone, on anything you like, and uh, that is uh, something that may be advantage for some of you, but at the same time. Uh, as you mentioned, pre-recorded tutorials, they give you this time to think. They give you the idea, they give you the time to get your things organized, to prepare your ideas, and to get ready and make that project multiple times as well. And Nick is right, you can play it on TV. I really like to do it, to play stuff on, on the, the big screen, because then you can see absolutely everything. It's not always possible for me, for example, with Facebook Lives, because I don't have Facebook on my telly. Mm -hmm. And there is no way that it would it would work. And uh, often on Facebook Lives, we, uh, we have a little bit down, um, lower quality. Yes. Uh, because of the transmission and, you know, the wind, the storm, the hot, the cold weather, there are so many things that can go wrong, not yes. depending on uh, on the creator. And here we eliminated that part because as, as long as you have uh, internet access of any kind, video will load. Uh, yes, exactly, because YouTube and uh, YouTube is better, but Facebook cuts down the quality to like 360 pixels, which is not too much. And uh, here we've got like high quality videos uploaded and ready to stream. So you just click it on and that goes. Yeah. Do you want to Because I made uh, I made a screen so we can talk about individual classes and um, yeah. How about uh, we can 
go through the classes. If there will be any questions, uh, we will try our best not to lose them. In case that you have a question that we didn't reply, just keep on asking. Yes, um, as, you know, I struggle with the uh, attention span. Uh, so we will start with Iveta because she's first one. Me? <laughs> oh, yes, you. Okay. Can you tell something about the project? What is uh, behind it? What uh, products you uh, focused on? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Okay, so um the idea of the project itself um so as you can see the the centerpiece of it is a house and that is just like a little figurine that I bought from a charity shop a few months ago and um I've been dying to use it um on something and I knew that it needed to be something special and then obviously when Olga came up with the idea of doing the classes I was like oh yes this is it this is it this is what I'm gonna do and um because again we kind of wanted to incorporate the uh the new molds and obviously in the new molds there's so many flying insects moths and little butterflies and things like that and I just I just wanted to really like incorporate it all and um it is kind of um this project itself is a, is a little bit of a I like to add a little bit of a philosophical note to like a lot of my projects so uh this is a bit of a um I like a little reminder project that I like to keep somewhere in the view for me how you know like these little moths and they seem so tiny and so lightweight but um, if you look at them they're kind of like pulling out that house from the ground and that's like a little reminder to myself and hopefully those that will maybe join the class that you know um if things get heavy and you feel like you need to just kind of like you need somebody to lift you up you know sometimes it'll be uh something that you don't expect like those tiny little flying moths that seem so fragile and um and all of that you know and those would be your friends of course um you know <laughs> um and so that's like a little the little philosophical note behind it but um really like technique wise so um we have a look at um, using texture paints and um, a lot of different kind of mixed media um, elements that you might not necessarily think of for creating something that is more like structurally, um, like a really 3D structurally made piece. So um, we create the actual um, stem that holds the house. So I can uh, I can remove that screen and you can explain on your project. Okay. Yeah. So um yeah. So if you if you look at the um the house itself, right? So it kind of floats around. So we use um Finaba products to create this um almost like illusion of the house being like pulled out of the ground and um you know it's kind of it's it's being pulled out of the ground but really it's very stable and it's not going to go anywhere so um that is kind of the main focus of it and then of course you know creating the little moths and if you look at the moths um from the um top and the bottom they are actually 3d so because the um because these molds are um, symmetrical, so you are, it gives you the ability to make these moths um, look like actual 3D moths. But of course, in the class itself, I go through the process of making them look a little bit more realistic. Because if you just stick the two molds together, it's just going to be like a really bulgy um insect you know like a very well fed insect um so we kind of we kind of go through the process of leaning it out a little bit um and uh, yeah it's it's really like it might seem a little bit you know complex or any or something like that but really it's a relatively simple uh project it doesn't involve a lot of painting it doesn't involve a lot of i don't know really complicated stuff so it's very very simple yeah that's it really Okay, next one is Nunu. Nunu, prepare yourself. 
Okay, so in my case, I really wanted to focus on transforming something quite common, like a Mac, into a very special object. You know, my, I would say my um, signature style, I, I, I think I could define it like fantasy. And I really wanted to bring that magic of the fairy tales or the witches' stories to my project. So I just turned a simple Mac into a tablet. And I focus on building layers with the colors and how to get the shadows before the colors and then how to adjust that when you add the colors. Um, so there is a lot of painting and repainting and yeah, a lot of layering. <laughs> And of course, a lot of shimmery stuff. And I use a combination of liquid acrylics, mica powders, and metallic waxes. And I really had a lot of fun with it because it's really simple, but you can get amazing results. And that's basically it. Um, you have your project handy because it's very shimmery. So if you will yes. Uh, that in the real life, okay. And yeah. We'll pull down the graphics. Actually, when you move it, you can see that it's like, uh, okay, let me remove this. Um, yeah, it's like the sky. You can see it. The, the stars are twinkling. Um, and you can see all the shimmer of the mica powder. And I'm going to teach you how to make it's it permanent. And, yeah. And the inside is also quite cool because it, it has like light but actually there is no light inside and yeah I think it's a lot like, of fun to do easy and for everyone <laughs> it's so cool. with super shimmery uh, projects that uh, it's impossible to capture on on the picture all yes, that that's true that I'm seeing right now because I'm I'm really mesmerized by all the sparkles that you <laughs> are doing. Yeah, I know. All my studio is like a fairy house. Everything is sparkling. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's it's a very, very Nunu signature uh, project. Okay, so now uh, we have Anna. You do. Okay. Yeah. So. That is probably not a surprise I made a collage because this is like one of my signature things. And what I wanted to do is um, combining grungy and uh, a little bit more feminine style on one project. And that's why there are two different backgrounds and they're kind of clashing elements, but married together by the colors and uh, the sparkly elements as well. So I usually lo really love to use a lot of recycled elements. Uh, I, as you can see, there are not only the molds used and traditional embellishments, but there are computer parts, which are taken from my old computer. And uh, this is just part of the magical eclectic style that I absolutely love. On the top of that, uh, there is a moth and there are flowers. So there is like botanical, like natural side of it. And there's this grungy, electronical, industrial side. And I know some people struggle with making masculine projects. They struggle with making things a little bit out of the box. And I, my, way, my idea was to show you that you can put these things together easily and you can push it easy towards more feminine and more sweet and magical or towards more grungy, more masculine, more heavy. Because from here you can go both ways. And uh, as you can see on the top, there is a crackle and that is perfect for any kind of vintage project. On the bottom, there is tissue paper with stripes, which is reminding me a little bit more of the steampunk style. And then on the top of these gears, electronical elements, there is pink, in fact, coral pink. <laughs> there is a delicate touch of blue. 
and uh, vintage brown all together. So when it comes to the products, you, of course, you're going to try crackle paste, uh, but uh, you're going to use the products you can see next to the uh, image here. So liquid acrylics in the shades of your choice. Uh, I used corals and pinks and also um, metallic paints. Usually I would suggest coral and opal magic paint, something that was forgotten for quite a while. It was a great um, product and it is changing the color in amazing way. There's also a bit of wax. So this is a great opportunity to see how each product works and also how to get this balance between light and shadow because um, this is one of my favorite things i like my elements to be clearly visible i go for a lot of visual drama and this is what i wanted to show you in this project how you can get from very soft to quite grungy and you just decide what you prefer and if you, oh, as I can see, if you struggle with the concept when to stop, this class is a great one for you because you can see there is one important element like the focal point, which is the moth, and the other elements are just surrounding. So as long as you are going to play around this main element uh, and you make sure it's going to be visible, everything else is going to be just the background. So. That is it. This is kind of my signature style. Maybe I will show you again in yeah. real life now. Exactly. I take photos of these, I know. Because again, we have the, the very shimmery, uh, uh, yes. shimmery project. You can so. see how the wings of the moth sparkle with the uh, super chunky glitter from the effect paste. And you can see how dimensional the project is in real life. So layering and using all these elements together, how to make it really sturdy so you can use it on different surfaces, how to make it possible to touch and uh, just perfect for decoration on anything, on the box, on the canvas, on the book. This technique is applicable to any kind of surface. Okay, so I will be the, the last one. Uh, but yeah, okay, so uh, my project is my variation of my very favorite. Since I discovered that you can make fabric into the sculpture, I am obsessed, and um, I did try multiple options and uh, multiple versions of the project. Uh, this time it's a very simple uh, version of, of my very favorite class to teach. And um, I focused on the product that, in my opinion, is not getting enough love, what is sculpture medium. Because it's I agree. amazing and you can make so much with uh, basically scraps because I used here not so pretty uh, fabrics. Yes, laces were uh, were uh, pretty. Lace is always pretty. I never saw ugly lace, but um, you can use whatever you have handy. Uh, wait, how to make myself? Uh, okay, now uh, to, to to avoid showing. Uh, awkward angle of myself <laughs> okay so my uh my project will not fit the screen really nicely so i i have the backup uh backdrop and uh from molds i picked uh wings and uh i absolutely love the fact oh the other way around like Iveta, I use the fact that they are mirror images of each other. So the wing is really dimensional and really fluffy. And the, the whole thing is, you know, like a sculpture. It's hard as rock. Right now. And uh, I really think that the sculpture made you need more love because it doesn't get enough love and attention. 
Mm, okay, we didn't have any comments while we were showing, uh, uh, I mean, questions, sorry, uh, while we were showing the project somewhere. Um, um, it, it went if, if the classes are live. No, those are pre recorded ones. Making uh, collaborative live classes, I think it's, it is possible, but it would take a lot of time to um, narrow the logistics and to make sure that everyone will, will have uh, an access. It's not impossible, but. Uh, uh, we we are starting small with the with yeah. The I, I was just going to say, if you guys like these collaborations, we can think in the future to do something live, like maybe uh, one of us each weekend or something like that with the same kind of product. I don't know. We are open to fantastic ideas. Oh, yeah. And again, uh, because this is on the website, you don't really have to uh, watch streaming on. Zoom or on uh, Facebook or YouTube, we can stream through StreamYard or through YouTube on the website. So you've got the access through the website. Okay. And so that is avoiding the problem of people who feel left behind because they don't have social media accounts for any reasons. And that is um, absolutely accessible for anyone on any device. So. That is easy. asking, did I use PowerTech? No, I used Finabar product. I used Finabar as coping medium. Wait, I will grab it because it's on the side. <laughs> I knew that I shouldn't clean up, especially for you. Then I would have it handy. I use this one. Yeah. Mine is in the clear version, but it also comes in, in beige and uh, in my opinion, it's better. It's softer to, to touch. It's more gentle. It will work exactly in the same way, uh, but it's more suitable for using all the mixed media products on top. So it's already um, designed to be used with, uh, with our crafty techniques. And uh, I didn't have to prime, so I could cut the... the double or triple priming before adding my colors and uh yep. i really love the product and i think it it should get more love and more cloud because i'm scared that it will be removed from the line if it will be not popular and i love it i don't know what it what happens <laughs> okay yeah. next collaboration we all use sculpture media <laughs> Yes, exactly. But we are here to answer your questions and to listen to your uh, suggestions as well. So, you know, once you see that collaborations are possible and we can deliver classes in many ways, uh, you know, this is only working when they are people on the other side. So we are absolutely happy to see you excited. We are absolutely mm -hmm. happy that you are uh, you know, joining and jumping on board because that is just the best thing to see for teachers. That means you get excited and you want to try, you want to learn. And of course, I am the one who makes the products as well. So that makes me double excited or triple excited. But um, it is just great to see how you can in very various way use the product and show your personality show your teaching style through different projects and we are very thankful for this opportunity and that you are excited and that you want to join i hope this is going to be exciting time for everybody so just to let you know if you want to share the projects later we will be waiting we will be waiting and um there is uh, this group, of course, which is dedicated to anything Finavar related, so this is perfect space. There's also a group which is typically focusing on online classes, Finavar online classes, second group. Uh, you can also share your projects then in there. It is only focusing on the topic of online uh, classes which are available through the Finavar Studio website. And I'm sure you all agree we will be absolutely grateful if you tell your friends about this thing, about these classes, about what we do, and encourage them to try and to have a look. Because 
we really struggle with the visibility because of social media thing, uh, because of algorithm not being uh, so very easy to work um, with. Uh, the you know God internet uh, the internet gods are not always on our side, and the more people talk about it, share it, and show it, even just to you know give a hint, uh, it helps a lot to get the visibility we need because there may be some people who would love to take a class but they have no idea they exist. So if you can share, if you can say a word, if you can just you know show that to your crafty friends that would be the most valuable support we can get. Uh, Sabine, uh, you can check in any store that carries Spinaba products because I'm pretty sure they can order it for you. And if you struggle a lot, then you can always order from Mixed Media Place. Uh, there is uh, always almost full range of products currently. Yes, here the Most of the things in stock all the time, but Sometimes you just need to wait until it's back in stock. So um, I'm not sure about sculpture medium. Have we got sculpture medium now? Uh, I'm sure you you had last week. There was the, yeah. the cream version available. Uh, the product is the same. It's just a matter of uh, adding yeah. the, the opaque color. Yeah. Uh, and somewhere uh, I. So that somewhere there was a comment about having a look into a, a creative space that it's cool to see uh, a little bit of that. And I think that we all shared the, the um, craft tour on some point somewhere in the internet. I'm pretty sure that uh, yes. there are tools. I mean, mine is constantly changing, so I... I Weekly updates because <laughs> I keep shifting everything. Same. Yes, I think we made some videos on that, but it's always nice to make an update, maybe you know, from time to time. Uh, I so just to quickly chime in because um, somebody, um, with, uh, Gina, I think was asking about like how do you know when to stop, right? And before <laughs> I forget, I don't know what happened. You find out, let us know. know. The most valuable advice that I can give is ask your crafty friends. Like when you're when you're creating, um, if you have somebody that you can like message on Messenger and send them a picture, and if you don't, like go into Finaba and Friends Open Studio and just post a picture of your work in progress and say, Hey, do you think this needs anything else? Or like is it finished? Or because yeah, like I think you all struggle. I've many people that many opinions. So if you ask in the group, <laughs> that that might leave you even more confused than you were at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Or but, you uh, may notice that some people are gonna be saying, Oh no, it's finished, or oh you need to add this, and it will be very irritating to you, and you will be like Hmm, I don't like what you're saying. That means that you, in your heart, feel like you need to add more, and that's all that's important. Yeah, that's exactly. In the group, people are sharing such a cool stuff. I saw that lately somebody was uh, sharing the shopping that they did on some kind of a garage sale, and <laughs> I was sitting in front of my computer, being like, "Oh my god, that is so cool!" Yeah. <laughs> That is part of the thing sharing is. But Iveta is absolutely right. You have to just trust your creative instinct. And that is somehow uh, just telling you exactly what you need to do. I know that when you are a beginner, you are not really sure and you will tend not to trust yourself. So it's good to check your reactions on what people are saying. And if, the, if you feel that, hmm, yeah, but I think a little bit different, that means maybe naturally you are just more uh, opulent and baroque and full of element style person. And if you feel like, oh, yeah, I prefer less, maybe you are this more of organized and quite clean and very particular style person. And I'm, this is absolutely okay. <laughs> We have a comment, and I have no idea, is it a comment or question, so I left it's a it comment. Out. They say, like, uh, Finnebar, your community from Peru is waiting for you with a lot of anxious <laughs> and joy. 
yes, because yeah, yes, we made an arrangement for 2023 uh, to come and teach uh, live classes, live in person classes in Peru. I did it before pandemic. It was amazing. I love absolutely how many people came, not only from Peru, but also from countries around. And it was amazing event. So I'm very looking forward, keeping my fingers crossed and everything else crossed that it will be possible to go and to make it again. So hmm, this is uh, something to look forward to. Coming back to that moment when the live classes are possible, because I attended your classes. I I caught that short gap within between Coronas and uh, so... uh, I thought that I know a lot and uh, that I will go for class just for experience of class. I learned a lot and that surprised me so much because I was sure that, you know, I know almost everything that there is to know about. Everything I keep learning for myself, watching other people create as well. It's not just... uh, the technique sometimes it's just the way you do things like oh, I was yes, watching very you know, applying things in a very diff- unfamiliar way for me and it was like hmm that makes sense I'm not sure if I can do it but I can now give that tip to somebody as well because I can see oh I've seen this and this is possible this is how we learn from each other that's why I absolutely love going to multiple teacher events because we could exchange experiences as well and now we watch each other uh, creating and there's always something new you can learn. And even if you if you were a pro, even if you are like a really seasoned artist, believe me, I am in this industry since like 2009, eight, I started, oh, let's say, 2011, I started teaching and I keep learning new things uh, from other teachers, from other artists, because this is how we are. We keep learning through our life. And this is great to have some things refreshed because we forget things which we maybe did before. It's good oh, to have- I might remind you a post from 2007 when you did the, the angry book. That was one of the first posts on your blog and actually <laughs> not the only one who kept the blog. So if somebody is very stubborn and will click enough time, next, <laughs> next. They will be taken to that moment when Finoba was doing mini books. <laughs> it was not even a mini book. That was a... Uh, Matchbook yes, size, size notepad cover uh, with the f- fox fur that I found in my cupboard at work and with Christmas decoration on it and it looked like like Harry Potter movie but it is not mixed media it was glue paper and very questionable that, that was in the time when the the the, the the whole idea of mixed media didn't exist yet. <laughs> yeah, it's still mixed media, though. <laughs> yes. As soon well. as you combine two more, two or more mediums, it's mixed media. <laughs> very so. true. So, guys, if you have any more questions, we are very happy to answer, but we will be wrapping this video in a short moment. So this yeah. is the right time to ask any questions if you have. And we are, again, absolutely thrilled and grateful and excited about this. And we were hoping the response from the crafting community will be good. But uh, this is wonderful feeling to see that you really uh, want to participate and you are as excited as we are. And... <laughs> This is something that I absolutely, yes, I know, I did it. I I don't have it anymore, though, but I absolutely remember this project clearly, unfortunately. (laughs) Before we will wrap it up, I just want to remind that it's not only about the classes, because with the new release, there will be uh, live streams in the group from us and from uh, the rest of Finaba family because family is is really big and uh, really creative and we like to share stuff uh, 
uh, in the group, I think that there was a time when we had at least uh, weekly meetings with uh, one of the artists. And I think that after holidays, uh, after summer holidays, everything will um, yeah. come back to, to that. Uh, and we have that new release to play with that I'm so excited uh, about uh, certain modes that I'm super happy that you, you, you continued that cute, creepy theme because uh, that is something very unique to, uh, uh, to the market. And I'm always uh, in the look for those creepy elements. So it's, it's nice to have them handy and the bundle is super awesome. Um, There's a question uh, from Anita. Yeah, I saw the question. So can you read it out loud? Because I cannot scroll. Yeah, she said, so I just signed and paid for. So are my classes now open to me to watch? You uh, will get the access to them almost instantly. There is a person on the other side who is going to click it active for you. So you may give maybe half an hour, depending on the situation. It's in the middle of European night. You may need to wait a few hours if the person is sleeping, but uh, you should get access through the website, which means you can go and check, log to your account and go to the section, which is your account. And then there should be your courses, your classes, and you will be able to see if it's active now. You don't have to do anything else. If it's not active, wait a little bit, maybe this, uh, the Tusha is still not able to click for some reason, but that is basically all. It is automatically going to be open for you. And the only thing we have to wait for is to just click the release after uh, we get the confirmation of the payment. So it's not done automatically because of website reasons. I am not the best person to answer the questions on the technical side of it. But uh, because mistakes happen, uh, some glitches happen to the system, we prefer to supervise just in case if somebody is going to be missed or something is going to happen. So I would say in yeah, the worst like, scenario, a few hours. That's it. For example, as you say in the beginning, um, maybe people don't realize some classes are in English, some classes are in English with Spanish subtitles. And if you make a mistake on that and you realize oh, damn it, I picked the English version and I need the Spanish subtitles. Then this time is given to share the, you know, <laughs> that, that time to, to make this switch and and you will get the correct classes. Yeah. And as we're talking about uh, Pinaba family, uh, there is an open design team call. True. Ooh, yeah. Yes, that is a great moment to also remind that uh, because after you know, some time we decided it's time to make an open design team call again, and that is open for everybody, including our previous design team members, but also absolutely new faces from all over the world. Uh, if you go to Finavar social media, Finavar studio on Instagram or on Facebook, you are going to see um, the design team call flyer. And there's all the information on where to send the, um, the mail with your submission. What do we need from people? For example, we need people who are active on social media because this is what the design team uh, job is showing the product uh, and making the tutorials and videos. So you read to that, and I really encourage you to try and to send the email that there's email on this flyer as well, and um, do it before twentieth of August because this is the deadline. So if yeah, you I have the link for those who are interested. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, I would I would encourage everyone always if you think that it's the place that you would find yourself, try. The worst thing that will happen, you will not get a spot. It doesn't mean that you are not good enough or yes, there's no age limit as well. There was a question, there's no age limit or there's no country limit. 
uh, the only situation that may be uh, complicated at the moment, uh, we have problems with shipping to certain country. Uh, so that is a little bit limiting here. But uh, otherwise, the only things that you really need to have is the skill to take good quality photos, to make a good quality video, to be able to write a paragraph about your project and to list the things and to be able to work in a team, which means to be active and check uh, if the, there's something new in the group happening, if there are any things going on and to be on the schedule because teamwork is important for everybody. So everything is done in advance. You will have time to prepare. You will see the things uh, unfold. And uh, we try to be very organized. And we always have very friendly uh, design team uh, group. And, but, oh my God. <laughs> but of course, uh, it works both ways. It is much easier for everybody when you are on time. And that is it. You don't have to do any special magic. You never know. Maybe we look for you. Maybe your skills are needed. Maybe your uh, style, your talent is needed. Maybe we are looking for something else. And the fact that you don't really feel that you match the style is the advantage because we want to go to different markets. We want to encourage different people. We want to go everywhere and spread the love for mixed media and uh, fun of creating. And we do it in a really friendly and positive atmosphere. And I think... Uh, Take it from a current design team member. I never thought that I would get in. <laughs> I sent my application and I was like, meh, you know, worth a try. <laughs> May as well start practicing. And, and I then... remember that assignment and Iveta was on the short list very quickly because her style was dif different to what I do. It was different to uh, the usual like mainstream mixed media. So it was great opportunity to show the products in different way. And that is absolutely great. So in the worst case, as Nuneka said, in the worst case, you were going to be in this place that you are now, so not in the team. So, yeah. also, nothing... you know, it's like um, we have entire uh, entire stream once uh, about the, the the different things that goes uh, to that. But there is also n no any shame if you apply and don't get a spot. It's also not like people will point you with their fingers on the street, you know, telling like, yeah, yeah, she didn't get it. No, nobody will know. Yes, we <laughs> won't tell anyone. Are, if you never try, That's you will never get in. And also... The is in the background and I'm scared to discern mm -hmm. because then the cat fur will be everywhere. But uh, I have to have him inside the room because otherwise he will be banging my doors. Oh, I will also say that, guys, if you don't get in this team or any other team, you can always ask, what can I improve? Exactly. And try next year. Exactly. This is how it works. You can uh, ask a question, what was missing? Or uh, is there anything else I can do to, you know, fit better next time? And we are absolutely okay with giving the feedback. And again, please remember all the information you share with us, it's confidential. Like you are not going to tell anyone that you applied and we are going to... <laughs> Keep that secret until yeah. last time when we like just do the people will people will not know. Nobody gonna know. And Nobody. Uh, no, and just me, design team member core design team coordinator, uh, maybe my husband, maybe two or three more people who are inside of the brand anyway. And uh, one thing which is important, we not do we don't duplicate with Prima design team members as well for a reason, which means we want to give the chance to work with product uh, to as many people as possible. So if you, somebody is already on Prima team, we are not taking that per person in consideration because that person is already in uh, in the uh, brand. 
some products which are not just not only mine but also prima so there's a mixture of uh, products so we are always picking people who are on you know not on prima team at this point and um, that is also very important uh, for you so uh, if you don't get into finabar team you can always try for prima as well and, you know that is great chance and there are many many nice things we do together and we really try to make it stress free environment so i highly encourage everybody to try yeah, to be fair really, it's I, a I, really, can, I can uh, attest to it. it really is fun fun team to to be in because everyone are, are creative and we work together and that though it's it's called a uh, design team uh, from the experience it's not always about a teamwork <laughs> and here it is the team uh, you know if, if anyone has any kind of issues there are always a, a, a hands to help there is always somebody who will volunteer to uh, to help and to 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 provide the support so it's a really cool team to be in yeah we are drama free environment we don't really go into any unpleasant situations if something goes wrong we try to solve it quickly and without pain so that that is and the best is very supportive yeah yes. that is that is really really important because you know like Look at us. We we do stuff together all the time. Um, yeah. and in theory, like <laughs> I was just going to say that when this lady asked how to stop and Iveta suggested to ask your friends, this is something we do so often. Like we talk every day, like, hey, girls, what do you think about this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but the problem is that I don't think that we have uh, on the screen right now somebody who actually can say stop to themselves because I, I can't especially if I see glitter I, I know where I should say stop but it's like ah, yeah. just a pinch more just a pinch more and then you know everything. I, 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 I didn't say it was helpful <laughs> I have a problem oh. with the gold details mm -hmm. <laughs> adding gold <laughs> everywhere with elements <laughs> <laughs> so that is us. And uh, if you enjoyed this entertaining live stream, questionable enter entertainment, but it was uh, the best we can do. If you feel that you would like to spend a little more, more time in mixed media world, uh, we are absolutely happy to share that time with you. If you want to just share that live stream with your friends as well, maybe they would like to learn more about how it works. And if you have um, any questions when you're watching the replay, please put the, the question in the comments so we will be able to find it. You can tag us on that uh, question as well yeah. and we will be able to come back and find uh, the question and answer and give you a hand. So I just want to say huge thank you to uh, all of you here talking to us and all of you girls here with me for uh, making that possible and inviting me in because that was your idea and you let me join. Well, thank you, you cannot for imagine inviting us in the first place. Exactly. Yeah. And you cannot it's imagine awesome. how excited they were when I said, Nana wants to join the bundle. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh. You know, yeah. I, I was happy when one person said, like, yeah, we can do it together. So, you know, anything from there was like yay for me yes uh, and uh yeah we we see uh, you guys uh in the group quite soon because uh uh we have a plan of of doing live streams in the group uh and i think that by the end of the week we will we will have some announcements uh and and uh info about that because um uh, the, the the super organized uh, person will tell us what to do and then we will put it up. I was going to say that you guys go and click the three dots in the group and set on all the notifications so you won't miss a live stream when we go live. That yes. is true. When you, 
when you turn on the notifications, as soon as the live stream starts in your group, even if you are browsing on your feed, it will pop on the side of your screen. And uh, uh, and here you, you don't get the notification about every comment under every post unless you want to, then you have to go and, and click it, uh, just about major events and posts on the main feed. So that is a great tip. I had no idea you can do that, but I'm really, uh, I'm not technical person. Like I'm basically technical, like Facebook changes too quickly for me. So I'm not able to get it. You know, Duda is one of the, the people that I think that personally forced Instagram to go back to the old ways. So. <laughs> yes, I was so mad at them when they put yes. everything in black in my Instagram. And I was like, no way, stop it. And it came back to normal. So I'm Which super happy. Great. I was can so you, happy. Can you, can you carry on it. doing that? <laughs> yeah, I couldn't see any posts of the people that I follow. That was so annoying. So I'm so glad it, it's back. So yeah. I can see my favorite people instead of exactly. random people. <laughs> okay. So okay. thank you okay. again. Uh, I will be going now just to get organized and um, follow to my uh, dinner time because it is uh, the time to go. Yeah. And please remember, if you have any questions, any concerns in the comments, we are waiting. Uh, if you want to say something to us about the class or you have questions, if it's regarding the project, message the teacher. If it's regarding technical things happening on the website, or something that goes strange ways and you don't know why, uh, send the email to Finavar Art Studio admin. There is an email on the top of the website and technical support is going to come to rescue you because that is the person who is able to go behind the uh, shop and click the right things and make things possible. We are not. We have no access to that side of the... Uh, classroom and that is probably better solution <laughs> and that means and, and yeah. if you like us and if you like this idea please share it Help yes us. and let us yeah. know that you think it's a good idea we saw a lot of support no, if, if people will will share and will demand probably we can we can do the the chit chats you want also more often on oh, now it's a kitty camp <laughs> Oh, he tried too hard. He was gone the whole time. He came back just in time. Yeah, but Chester, Chester need to have his five minutes to jump through the window just before. And, and we are lucky to to see him uh, facing the camera with his face for it. With the right side, yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, it was fun. Uh, thank yes. you, girl. And uh, thank you, everyone, in the comments. Thank you, and, everybody. Um, we will wrap this one up. Uh, have a good one. Bye, and guys. See you all. <laughs>